I have 12 ounces of coffee. It's very, very early. But we are here nonetheless. It's uh, it's looking like it's going to be another dry race, which is, you know, it is what it is. But uh, should hopefully be a good race here this afternoon. Right, Yuki's read it up. Here we go. Great start for Lewis Hamilton. He's up to second place. He's immediately past Sergio Perez. Charles Leclerc holds the lead. Nobody catapulting, thankfully. Can George Russell go around the outside of the McLaren? So close. It is Leclerc, then Hamilton, then Perez. The top three. Ooh, okay. Russell took the uh, took the bait. Oh, Max around the outside of Albon. He's got a lot more than the Williams. He's going to sweep all the way around the outside. Outside line to the inside line. Passing at will and making places. Not too much of a five post. Fair enough. Lewis is going to get him here. Way too close, DRS way too early for uh, future Ferrari teammates. Now with the help of DRS, out of the slipstream, to the race lead for Lewis Hamilton. Hammer time, there goes Lewis into the lead. And this is crucial, Russell's getting past Oscar Piastri. Okay, Russell's going to have a run, he's going to get back ahead, of, uh, back ahead of Piastri. Although Piastri might get Russell back here. Vital that he gets to the inside of Russell for his Grand Prix. He needed to make the move, and he did. Unfortunate there for Mr. Russell. Here comes Piastri. Is Perez going to defend? He will not. Ducks out of the slipstream, trying to move ahead against Sergio Perez, and Piastri has another pass. Surprising though to not see any kind of defense from Perez, but... Oh, yellow flags. Oh, fuck, did Sainz... I swear to God, Carlos, I swear to fucking God. This is his Carlos for Sainz, it's a big snap on the entry. Hamilton radioed and said the rear tires were going, but they certainly are on the hard shod Ferrari as well. Uh, goes defensive, nothing he can do. DRS open, Russell breezes by. Yeah, there goes Russell around the outside. I wonder if if Red Bull are going to give the call to Sergio to get the hell out of the way. To Red Bull tell Perez to let Verstappen pass. They have to, don't they? Lol. <laughs> Pick one stop. So George Russell asking the team to consider extending. Russell's thinking about converting to a one-stop, which would effectively put him in the net race lead, although I don't know if those hards can really make it that long. As Lando's going to make a run at Sergio here. Perez is the driver. He is passing. And Norris gets up to sixth position. Yeah, Lando's already next to him before he even got to the DRS zone. So, uh, I mean, he's about the same gap behind. He might be a little bit closer. This could be really tight coming down here. As Piastri wants that inside line. Leclerc is not going to give it to him. So going the long way round and taking the position is Oscar Piastri, who fights his way to third. Not quite sure what this is all going to turn into, but that was a fucking great move by Piastri. Nope, it died. While that's cooking itself back up, I'll put it here. I, I will still have it up if it does update. All three of them super close. Russell is just nailing these exits, though. With the McLaren close by to win the Belgian Grand Prix. Ah, just Lewis can't do turn one. He, c he couldn't do turn one to save his life. How close, how brave, how late dare Hamilton go? He can't get there. Just three three laps in a row, Lewis couldn't do turn one, and that's going to cost him the win. Oh, another lockup. Of George Russell, who takes one of the greatest drives you will ever witness. With seven different winners, maiden winners, in Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri, an extraordinary, record-breaking, extending win at Silverstone for Lewis Hamilton. Oh, I mean, top three, you could put a blank get over him. I mean, everyone's closing up. This was a traditional F1 race. This is what a real Formula 1 race looks like. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the technical bugs at the end, but I, uh, I tried my best. So once again, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.